that one famous purport, Prabhupada talks about there's the book Bhagavat and there's the person Bhagavat mm -hmm. and how each of them has potency and how the book Bhagavat really is a history of the devotee Bhagavats and the devotee Bhagavat lives only in terms of the book Bhagavat. So they really are one in that sense. And so I think that I think another thing I like to mention is is reading Prabhupada's books absolutely essential for us. And I think uh, almost as essential as that, I would put it right up near the top, is reading about Prabhupada. Mm -hmm. Reading about how, because I, I think, you know, there's, as we mentioned earlier, there's jnana and there's vijnana. So an example and how this affects my service too, we'll get around to that. Let's say we read in Bhagavad Gita, okay, of all the principles of knowledge, humility is the most important. And Prabhupada defines that in his purport. But Prabhupada doesn't in the book say, here's, by the way, here's how I applied it. He could have written his books like that, you know. Okay, humility. And by the way, yesterday I was speaking with so-and-so, and this is how I applied it. We don't, we don't get that commentary. We get that commentary with the devotees who are with Prabhupada and talk about, oh, my gosh, I can't. I was shocked to see how humble Prabhupada was in this specific situation. So I think that that's also really important too.